Hi everyone, it's me Jeff Ignacio, the owner of the channel Suka Happy Pelanggan. Thank you very much for the subscribe, for the comments, for the likes, and for everything that you have done to the channel. I'm here in Kota Kinabalu. I came from Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, and I'm on a holiday with um, one very important thing that is to renew my mom's uh, visa. And uh, for your information, just in case you do not know, I'm a Malaysian born Filipino, but my mom is uh, not Malaysian, alright? So she's under my care. So I had I need to renew her visa every six months like that. So I'm here on a holiday and I'm currently staying at Mercure Hotel. I am fortunate and I'm glad, I'm blessed that I got a good bargain in Mercure Hotel. Uh, the reason is because one of my friends is a member and at the same time I think this COVID or this pandemic has made things a lot cheaper if you know what I mean especially the tourism industry it made things a lot cheaper and it made I don't know like I said it made things a lot cheaper I've been repeating a few times now and I just want to show you the city from the 20, 25th floor of Mercure Hotel by the way um, I'm on the 25th floor here in Mercure Hotel this is the highest possible that you can go in Mercure unless you you are daring enough to go up the rooftop which yeah I don't think you you will want to you will want to do that right so <clears throat> let me bring you around the city I'm not going down but I'm going to show you what's behind what's in front of me sorry what's in front of me so I'm gonna show you right now trust me you'll be fascinated and I will show you where and when all right so here we go okay I'm oh yeah so that is first things first zoom in ah it's okay that side is signal hill where you can see the city from the top but right now i'm one of the, one of the highest floor here and yeah this is the city guys this is the city of kota kinabalu yeah this is the city of kota kinabalu yeah on top of this floor, the 25th floor, Mercure Hotel, they have that swimming pool there. Eh? Yeah, they have that cutie, tiny, cute swimming pool. Yep. And not many people around. <clears throat> I heard only 11, 12, and 23rd floor is occupied. Yep. This is the sea. This is Jesselton Residences. I do not know how much it costs, but I believe it's nearing million. I wish I'm a millionaire that I can afford this one of it. Hopefully one day. Hopefully we do not know our fate or our path. Yeah. And yeah, this is Jesselton Residences. And if you notice, unfortunately I can't I can't actually zoom oopsie all right if you notice there's that blue lane there it is made for cyclists all right um, from the city up to somewhere in Likas is about five kilometers away yeah so this is made for cyclists so if you plan to cycle here in Kota Kinabalu by all means you can do that yeah and next to this Jesselton rest actually down this uh, uh, condo is a mall it's known as Jesselton mall and it's stated there Jesselton duty free I've never been there so I'm planning to go there and next to it is the famous Surya Saba yeah Surya Saba and look at that guys that side 
is um, Gaia Island or Pulau Gaia. That one, um, I'm actually confused. There are three islands there. There are three islands there. It's Mamutik, Manukan, and Sapi. I am so sorry, but I am. I think that one, the middle one, is Manukan. Sapi? Mamutik? I think so, but just to let you know, if you were to learn diving, one uh, Mamutik and Manukan, you can learn diving there. I'm so sorry, my tourism information is like more than 10 years ago. And you can dive on one of the island as well. Yeah. So, um, that tall building, that side, I do not know why I can't zoom. Something is not right, but it doesn't matter. That side, another mall, Wisma Merdeka, the very famous mall. Yeah, legendary. And next to this building, CBS, is Hyatt Hotel. And this stretch of the road is Jalan Pantai and Gaya Street. Sorry, Gaya Street and Jalan Pantai. Yeah. And further up, if only you can see there, is the Kota Kinabalu International Airport. So, the city to Kota, sorry, the, the airport to the city is about plus minus 10 minutes away. And that's one of the reasons why Kota Kinabalu don't have much tall building. Um, as far as I am concerned, this Mercure Hotel is among the tallest building here in the city and it's right towards the end. You can't really build tall building for the front because yeah, the planes is flying above. Yeah. So yeah, this is the city. I love this city. Why? Because it is for me it's I've been to different capital city you call it in Malaysia and Kota Kinabalu is one of the city yang they say for me is well managed proper planned where a lot of things is like you know easy access you can actually walk from end to end to that to that blue building there that's a police station you can just walk actually this road will bring you just there and I left the city like nine years ago so much development has happened and this Kota Kinabalu is very very convenient why because we have a lot of tourists coming in yeah and yes no doubt they are doing this for the tourists but at the same time the locals get to enjoy the facility as well you know what I mean so yeah that's it that's the city for the Kinabalu um, I'll be bringing you that I'll be going down later on but I need to rest because I feel like I just want to enjoy this place okay and I'll be bringing you guys down and yeah see bits and pieces of Kota Kinabalu and I tell you what they say about sunset here in Kota Kinabalu or in Sabah as one of the best in the world trust me they are not wrong they are right so if you have the chance to visit Kota Kinabalu, please do so, okay? So once again, I'm going to tour you the city. Wow, I can smell the sea breeze, you know? All right, here we go. Someone's house is there. 